Welcome to number three in my tutorial series on Obscurium. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the controller output of Obscurium without using the triggered notes and scales that come from Obscurium, even though that's a very interesting part of the device. In this tutorial I'm going to use the same Bidule setup, where we have Obscurium loaded able to send its MIDI messages up into Logic. This Bidule setup is explained in the previous tutorial number two, in which we loaded Obscurium within Bidule, enabling us to send the MIDI data out of Obscurium up back into Logic. Okay, now the setup in Logic is the same that we used in Video 2, where we have a track set to external MIDI device to send the MIDI messages to the Bidule 1 pathway. We won't be using the original environment hookup where we had Bidule feeding a monitor object splitting the signal to various targets, so if you're working from your same Logic setup, you have to remove that monitor object. Now let's go to the click and ports layer of the Logic environment. This is where we'll be able to set up the action that blocks notes. We're going to change this by disconnecting the sum output, and we'll connect the MIDI keyboard output directly to the monitor. Now we'll go to the Objects menu and grab a transformer. And we're going to be able to use this transformer to block notes. We do that by choosing the Filter Matching Events choice, and setting the condition value to Notes. This will block all note messages passing through this transformer. Now we want to get the Obscurium messages from the incoming Bidule 2 port, and connect them to the note blocker, and then have the output of the note blocker transformer go on into the merge which happens at the monitor. So this will allow the Bidule messages to be merged with the note messages coming directly from the keyboard to be recordable on a MIDI track. With both tracks engaged in Record Ready, we should be able to hear the results. And there you go. I just want to remind you that we're actually only listening to one instance of Massive without hearing the actual audio sounds coming out of Obscurium. And we can record the Obscurium controller messages along with our note messages by just going into Record in Logic. And there we go. I'm going to quantize these notes. I'm also going to quantize the controller messages to 16th notes, just to make it a little tighter, by selecting all the values on the event list and just hitting the quantize over here. There we go. The Bidule track that was also engaged in Record has an alias of the track above it. We're going to mute that track because we no longer need live Bidule. We've got all the content we need up here, the notes and the controller messages. So I'm just going to mute this track. If you recall, the reason why we got an alias is that that track had to be record enabled in order to get our note messages out to the Obscurium to trigger its events. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.